Okay. Uh, all right. Let's do Lonnie and let's do Lonnie and Zan, in in, in the good in the, you know what I mean. Hello. Hey, what's up? Can you hear me? I can. Zan. Hi. Do you want Do you want me to turn on camera? Uh, yeah. Hold on. Yeah, do that. Um, and that way I can. And here I'll turn on mine too, so you can see me. Let's see if the frame. Here we go. <gasps> here we go. Hold on. Here I I will put you on. Lonnie's here. Hey, how's it going? What's Hi. up? <laughs> Hi. Uh, not too much. We're just chilling, and uh, you know, I mean, I'm sure you've seen the the buffoonery. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I saw it. apparently Destiny's claiming that you made the thread on 4chan, even though you were live when it went up. So that's literally live, and then name. we immediately got flooded with. With I mean, I don't know. This is just mm -hmm. like. I mean, this is the like. I don't know. Isn't this like literally? literally what started with Gamergate like was like Zoe Quinn they said that like Zoe Quinn like made a bunch of fake things on on V to harass herself so that she could get yeah. victim bucks like, yeah that is that is one of the big claims wow. they they said the same thing about uh Brianna Wu and Anita Sarkeesian, Anita Sarkeesian obviously yeah that like oh they had their 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 uh, PR reps go and make uh hate threads Jesus Gamergate Christ. memes in 2021. Amazing. Well, well that's um, where we're at, right? That's where we're at. Hold congrats. on. Congrats. I need to, I need to oh, hold on. I'm going to move chat for a second here. Sorry, chat. I'm obliterating you. Suck it. <laughs> there we go. Now we can see your beautiful face. There we go. Ha! Chat, get fucked. All right. I'm just kidding. Congrats on <laughs> uh, 10,000 subs. It's a big milestone. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I am very excited for it. Um, and uh, we're about to, we're going to hit the, the road running with our YouTube shorts. Um, yeah, yeah Lonnie, Lonnie manages my TikTok, and so we have like a bunch of clips that she's made of me, and I want to start posting them as YouTube shorts. Is that Good like idea. the currently algorithm breaking exploit right now? Um, I think. I think it's good. Um, from what I hear, the they are really good for engagement. They're weighted pretty heavily. Um, now I'm not a hundred percent sure how this works, but as I understand it, both TikTok and YouTube give algorithmic weight to what they call original content. So uh, if you do it, I would at least, I don't know if this will work, but it's, I'm, I am going on a hunch, so I'll let you know, but I would recommend having like a different uh, overlay or frame for your videos so that they don't get identified as the same video um, because they're not, you know, they would be technically a different video. What Lonnie does for my TikToks is she adds like a, like a thing in the background and then they're like a different, it's weird. She can probably describe it better well, than I can. Just because it's uh, like nine by sixteen or whatever the different. Yeah, like, uh, and adds like text to, to it and stuff. So they're pretty. Yeah, that's what we do too. We have clips. like a little, like a, we have a frame. We still want it to be widescreen because if it's going up on yeah. YouTube, you wouldn't want it to be like the vertical. Yeah, really? we shoot uh, ours YouTube. in. So we shoot ours like I mean, mine are all uh, widescreen by default, but then we place them in a frame that makes it vertical, and then we put like the demon mama on the top, and then we put the website on the bottom, and then we have our little yeah, emotes. That's what I've been doing. Yeah. It's really yeah. good, yeah. It's it's a, it's it seems to be working well. I've gotten a lot of good. I've gotten a lot of compliments on the um, on the layout, which is the work of Alora, um, my TikTok editor. So, um, yeah. Um, yeah, you've been doing really well. Talk. Yeah, TikTok. Yeah. We've been we've been having a lot of good luck on TikTok. So pretty exciting. I've yeah. just started putting some stuff up on Zans. I think I think I've got like three hundred followers on TikTok or something. something like that. We yeah, gotta do we on. gotta do a um a flame war or something or some goofy <laughs> shit like that. I don't know. For content, or, yeah, or, we gotta or, or pet or pet war or something. I don't know. We'll gotta come up with some memes to do and we'll we'll go back and forth. We could you know we could be like um we could make we could do a we could do a rap battle. That sounds like a really good way. <laughs> do you wanna do a rap battle? I don't think that will generate any cringe um whatsoever. <laughs> I think it will be like a, a surefire way for people to take us seriously. So. <laughs> a rap battle shit i can't rap all that well I, at least not freestyle you can't well you could learn from uh you could learn from that uh that that book the fire bars of lauren southern um that i feel true. like you could, you could learn some, some rhymes from that it. yeah you could learn yeah, from that. Probably advantage over me. i actually been getting like a ton of messages from conservatives and lauren southern fans saying they started watching my content after that debate and have really enjoyed it so i don't know i find it pretty interesting that how many like lefties got really mad about it when Conservatives seem to really like me in that debate and have been watching my content. Hmm. So that's been nice. The normies, what did I say? I, I had a, yeah. I had a, I had a I had a good I made a good case. What can I say? I, I think it was good. <laughs> I think you did a good job and I think everybody else can uh 
don't know. <laughs> yeah, in hindsight, a debate about the book was a bad idea, but like that's yeah, but it's that like, you gotta get what you gotta get. Getting yeah. too tall with you. I I swear, people were hella jealous that either them. I'm saying hella. I played Life is Strange. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I, just, I, I say that all the time too. Don't worry. That, Wait, isn't, I, that, I swear, isn't that game t set in Seattle? It's mm -hmm. set yeah. in Oregon. Oh, okay. It's oh, Oregon. Portland. It's okay. Washington. It's no, not Portland. It's like um. Imagine the stereotypical seaside on the edge of the cliff, uh, Pacific Northwest okay. Oregon city at sunset type setting. It's like okay. a small town. Um, <laughs> I get that's you. basically the setting. Um, oh God, I'm so itchy. I gotta. I cannot wait. I ordered some of these like uh, oh, this waxing kit. We have to go to pick that up from the post office. Yeah, it's probably at the post office because my name isn't on it. Because uh -oh. yeah, I actually, I put I. No, I was he's not. He's not my allowed fault. to do any more shopping by himself. <laughs> I yes I, I oh, listen. Oh, let me explain. No. What, let me explain what happened. Did you okay? buy? Did you buy like a Dat Boy shirt or something? No 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 no. Well, here's what happened. So I have you know what the streamer nose itch is, right? No. Where your nose just starts itching all the time <laughs> when you're streaming. You, babe. No, plenty of people get the streamer nose okay. itch. My my nose constantly itches. It's because I have my wild. Nose itches. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, no. I get the I have these wild nose hairs and they're so annoying and I just want to eliminate them and I've plucked all of the oh, nose hairs. Wait a minute, out hold on a second. You're just trying to get a sponsorship with that thing that that uh that the other streamers <laughs> did, the one where they you know he there was that video of uh, uh, yeah, he yeah. won't use like a regular nose a trimmer. hair trimmer for I, some I mean reason. I use oh, it but okay. it doesn't help. You so have so a just... cat hair right there, which is I think what's making your nose itch. That's probably yeah. it. Yeah. But I I uh I got I, or, I went online and I wanted to order some wax because I've seen people get their nose hairs no, waxed no. completely out of their noses on YouTube. It's gonna hurt. And oh, no. I've individually oh, plucked on. my nose. It's, that is it's not gonna be as bad as that. Could, why would you do that? <laughs> because no more nose That's itch. I want it to go. So I went I went looking online at the time, somebody, I think it was probably a skimmer inside of a um a gas pump. Lonnie probably mm -hmm. got gas and then some, uh, my card got skimmed. So I noticed that like a bunch of my payments, like a bunch of my payments in PayPal were like $50, Weird, $60 yeah. and they were going to some gambling site. Yeah. So I canceled the card and I was waiting for a new one to come in. So like I had, I had to find something that would let me use PayPal without a debit card. And the only website mm -hmm. on the internet that I could find that would let me buy it without a debit card. I don't know why you didn't just this... send it to your cash app. I know. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm stupid. Wait, you said um, you had an issue with, um, you said you had an issue with like your, your card getting skimmed and then overdrawing or something? What? Yeah, well, no, 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 I didn't get overdrawn. It's it just like about a hundred bucks yeah, or so. Yeah, that's why he didn't have his debit card, his normal one. So he had to find oh. a website to have buy this from that would let him off? pay with PayPal. Have, have I used, used what? Have you used Bounce Off? It's like a really good app for that sort of thing. Hmm. No, I haven't. It was just yeah. like- Bounce Off I, I, this I... dick! <laughs> <laughs> I got you! I yeah. set you fucking up, motherfucker! There you go. <laughs> you <are> smell, <laughs> uh, sorry, smell. Spell Amogus backwards. I won't. <laughs> Spell Amogus backwards, Steven Mama. Is Mogi with? I don't know. I don't know what is it. I haven't even. I can't even think of it. Sagoma. Sagoma balls. Sagoma. Sagoma. <laughs> Wait. S Sagoma. There we go. Sagoma <laughs> balls. <laughs> All right. So so basically, um, what ended up happening was uh, it got like my thing got skimmed, so I had to cancel the card so it would stop being able to do payments. And I had to order a new one, but those take a few days to show up. So I had to find a website that would sell this nose waxing kit that would let me use like just normal PayPal. And Amazon obviously doesn't let you do that. So I had to use this like random beauty supplying website. And I was going through, I bought it and everything. And I was going through the steps. And when I auto filled my info for PayPal, it changed my name. After filling out all the information, my shipping info and everything, it for one took away my apartment number and two oh. it over and i didn't even know this because it was on a previous page so it's not like it showed me a and it didn't even show me like a final okay here's all your info check over it before you click finalize order it preemptively changed my name on there to xander hall because that's <laughs> the name on my paypal so it has the right address to my place but not the apartment number or my real name so I guess that's why it's being held at the post office, and we got to go pick it up. And that's yeah, those fucking up. losers over at the post office aren't hip with the with the cool stuff right now. They should know. You should they go should in there and you should that. freak out and be like, "Don't you know who I am? Do you know who I am? I am Xander Hall, the Xander Hall from YouTube." Have Lonnie recorded on her phone and posted on Twitter like, yeah. "Crazy YouTuber have freaks <laughs> out at uh, at workers." It reminds me of that video that that dumb fuck Tariq Nasheed posted oh, God, of the guy. Oh God, so bad. 
we yeah, talked that about guy that earlier. Oh my god. Clearly having like a mental health issue and then like yeah, apparently oh, the guy had bad. also been called like uh, homophobic slurs as yep. well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, yeah, no, the, people are being pieces of shit about that, dude. Like, yeah, listen, really as, oh, as a raging. former, as a former, not even close to professional Fortnite player, but I definitely played like I wanted to be professional. I can say that, uh, yeah, I know what it's like to get super frustrated and freak the fuck out. So yeah, I, yeah. I can empathize that with that dude. I have a, I'm just... feeling, I feel, I'm feeling it might, he might be dealing with a little more than just uh, Fortnite rage. Yeah. So. Yeah, maybe. Wait, were, yeah. You trying, were you trying to imply he was playing Fortnite at the desk? You know what? If he was playing Fortnite at the desk, I'd I feel think, even worse I feel for like, him. I feel like you're making this worse. <laughs> I feel like you might be no. making this worse. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's a good meme. I'll get canceled for anything I do. I got canceled because I decided to actually do research on a topic <laughs> and then talk about it. Mm-hmm. And I guess, with, unfortunately, in a lot of lefty spaces, if, if any foreign policy take that isn't America always bad, you'll get in trouble. Called a liberal. Oh, and then... oh, are you? Aren't you going to be debating on this or something? Well, he was supposed. I was to. supposed to, but I didn't know what whereby was. I didn't know that the panel oh, was going to be going oh, on. Oh, you! So oh, I, God! I, oh, so I yeah, got, no. I got, but I, I got solo a... streamers and not knowing what people use. That's like saying I don't know what a fork is. Are you kidding me? Whereby <laughs> no, is like I, essential. So I got onto yeah. whereby and it worked fine, and then. All, but for some reason, every and they could see me on the stream. I checked, and they could see me on the stream, and they could hear me in the Discord, obviously. Um, but for some reason, every other screen was black in the whereby. And then after like two minutes, it would just kick me, and then I rejoin. It would kick me. Mm-hmm. I talked to Dylan Burns's like uh, like content manager and tech guy, mm-hmm. and even they couldn't figure out what it was. Well, so I'm going to contact you. them off stream to try to get that fixed because. <laughs> Like I said, this new arc of the mm-hmm. Xander Hall streaming meme is going to be going on as many panel shows as possible to hone my debate skills. Good. But, um, I but mean, you wasted all that time researching. <laughs> I did, yeah, yeah. Listen, I can listen. You're on my turf now, buddy. This is where I've been stomping around in Kraken skulls for the last year. I've been on all these panels, so I can tell you all the ins yeah. and outs if you need it. So That's you, I, I, I get, get, get to ahead, get ahead, help. get yourself a fucking uh, stream yard. Uh, account because a lot of people have been moving over to that since um uh because where where about yeah Streamyard it's like um I don't know it's like it 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 has things like Restream where it lets you manage multiple things but it also has a uh a streamable group call feature um and it's actually pretty cool what it lets you do is it lets the host of the call um like put like whoever's talking at the time as the like the, the, the stream so like you can like basically they can do a, ra- a round table introduction and they can just tab right through each person and each person will get to take the stream with whatever their graphics that they have prepared it's actually super cool that's like one of the cool features of it, it lets you have like oh. meaningful introductions um but yeah a lot of people are using that one and then whereby of course is like necessary like half the panel scene uses uh where back when back when i did panels uh there were there were never any debate panels when i start when i got into this and did them mm-hmm. there were all these really circle jerky like it was everybody agree with each other and we, they just went through a list of topics and we were all like i agree with that oh and and get in this and oh yeah we all agree with that <laughs> they we didn't really have like nowadays panels are so much more they're like the raj royale from back in the day but like the the panels that i went on were a bit closer to the train wrecks podcast but even yeah. less <laughs> contentious somehow um and, and it was done in discord so i was like okay yeah we're gonna do it in discord and that'll be it zan sick camera keeps flashing get over it hexagram um yeah i <laughs> i thought i came in prepared i even called my friend where did i drop the little thing for my oh okay well i was playing with two of these things because adhd um and i dropped one um yeah oh, no oh, i I've been, I've been pulling the cap off my pen this entire time look so there you go <laughs> me, you and me both look at yeah, that I, there you go i, I always need something around with shit the vaping helps. Uh, but yeah, people kept on calling me a liberal for saying that it would be really bad right now in the state that we're in for um, for the U.S. to pull troops out of uh, Afghanistan because mm-hmm. of the threat of the uh, Taliban retaking power and putting back into play. And they've promised they're going to do this. One, they're going to assassinate or execute literally anybody, um, any Af- citizen of Afghanistan who assisted the U.S. government, and then on top of that, they're going to be taking away the ability for women to work or go back, go to school, which is pretty unfortunate, then obviously tearing down the democracy that was put into place um, in Kabul. And they're going to retake power. The Taliban is stronger than it's ever been. Um, They've been gaining a lot, 
more following. They are using the geography of the country as to their advantage in order to keep themselves present. And they're, right now, the U.S. government and the, uh, Af the government of Afghanistan, as well as the Taliban, well, not the Taliban, but we've been trying to set up a peace deal with the Taliban, but the overwhelming uh, consensus among the people in Afghanistan, the, the natives there, is that they don't want the U.S. leaving or agreeing to a peace deal without certain uh, agreements being made. One of the biggest ones is no compromise whatsoever on women being able to work or go to school. Hmm. Right now, though, the Taliban has been unwavering on this. So if we leave right now before a proper peace deal is made or we just annihilate the ta Taliban, um, the people of Afghanistan, against their wishes, will be being left to um, be subjugated under their rule again. And unfortunately, uh, I had this take because I did a bunch of research on it. I looked at the polling and uh, lefty Twitter is just thinks Americans bad. So, yeah. Well, I mean, I will agree with you on that second part. A lot of lefty Twitter has absolutely no clue what they're talking about. And they just go with their gut without actually researching things. Um, although uh, there are some people in my chat who are very frustrated at this take. I am not going to comment because foreign policy is not my uh, not my thing. Um, yeah, you should however, have Dylan Burns on, on to talk about it sometime because he knows a lot about it. Yeah, Dylan. Yeah, Dylan and I talk pretty frequently. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know. I I can't. I couldn't say either way. I don't know enough about the situation. Um, so I hear you're a liberal <laughs> though. Not not actually. I, I've said I this for a while liberal, though. But you but you're a liberal though. I know. I know. <laughs> having to take me no. But Every time tankies, that's that's <laughs> you got me. No, but seriously, every time... Look, there's a Bernie Sanders mug right there. How can yeah, I be a liberal? But, but Bernie That's is also liberal. That's my Bernie Sanders mug. <laughs> Bernie is, is a closet socialist. He's, he dog socialist. whistles the fuck Bernie, out of socialism. Well, you're a liberal, though, so... Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, but my, my actual belief, though, for anyone curious... Um, I've said this for a while now. I love... I like socialism, um, and I like Marx, but as I've researched more of these topics, it seems like a lot of especially Marxist analysis is pretty outdated and doesn't apply super accurately to the modern world in the way that we have our extremely globalized economic system with, you know, multinational trade and everything. On top of the fact that socialism and communism are extremely unpopular ideas, I don't find the greatest amount of benefit right now from advocating for socialism super hard. I think the best thing for me to do is to uh, advocate for like still extreme, but more, tangible um uh sock dem level policies stuff that like if, if we can make america more like denmark or sweden then we're probably a lot closer to being able to advocate realistically and have a good shot for something like socialism uh i just don't know if right now in america that's the greatest idea I don't know. and so uh, i've been yeah, like yeah yeah okay okay just sounds really fucking lib that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> all, right, fucking... all right and, that, and that's why i've just kind of been the that's why i just yeah, yeah, and that's why I've just bit the bullet and started calling myself a liberal. Well, okay, yeah, I mean, whatever. I mean, it, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. You, yeah. you care about trans rights and you care about a better world for people. That's what matters to me. So True, um, I do. And and you you uh you seem to care about um the like like civil rights in general and uh but you're just a lib, so I guess uh, to hell with <laughs> you, right? Well, yeah, libs are fascists. It's true. Listen, listen. I have, I have my own uh, thoughts on things. I do agree with the idea that uh, certain, um, certain chunks of of Marxist analysis are not, uh, they're not relevant to the modern era. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that like the answer is not. Uh, you know, socialist in nature. It just, in my opinion, it just means we have to adapt these ideas and, and update them. Because, I mean, the yeah. dude died like a fucking gajillion years ago. Mm -hmm. like, like, yeah, man, lived at the same time as Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> yeah, and um, I heard that... Um, I heard that he uh, sucked George Washington's balls. So, um, <laughs> yeah, that too. Um, but, uh, no, but honestly, like, the thing is, like, I, I like, for example, I don't think that, um, I don't think that, like... Um, Marx really did a great job uh, predicting or commenting on things like the uh, like the um, precariat, the, the 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 gig economy, which is an increasing part of of laborers in America have no um, uh, you know they have they have no ability to organize whatsoever. They're just just structurally opposed and have no real way to do that outside of a general strike, which 
that's really going to be interesting to see if that could happen. I do think it's possible. I think it's possible yeah. for there to be a general a general gig worker strike, um, but I think it would take a lot of organizing and it would take a lot of. Um, I, uh, I think savvy the, let's put it that way i think the problem with strikes that i don't think you're gonna be able to get a lot of people on board with especially nowadays is that a lot of people due to mostly uh technological advances are at the end of the day their hierarchy of needs seems to be met enough in most cases for most people at least in america that they're more willing to sit back and just sort of grill than they are to risk everything to engage in direct in like any even a, a a strike you know they're putting their job on the line when they do a strike i mean when i got my first job i was told um even as a lifeguard uh yeah uh if you find out anyone's trying to strike uh rat them out you'll get a pay bonus and yeah. uh yeah like that's there's that incentive to even go against the um uh uh the like to go against a, a strike out there now. Like it just doesn't seem like a lot of people yeah, will be on board with it Yeah, there's tons of anti union and anti strike sentiment. Uh though I I I think we probably disagree slightly on the state of material conditions uh for most Americans. Um uh especially post pandemic. I think, That's true. Yeah, I think we're we're I think honestly, now look, uh I recognize the data doesn't exist yet because it hasn't been studied because we're not out of the pandemic yet. But uh, from markers and indicators that we have, like uh, how many people are at threat of eviction and how many people are still jobless, I think that the reality of America right now is actually probably monstrously terrifying and we just don't hear about it because nobody knows about it yet. You know, like, I mean, yeah, some I... of it we do hear about. We see the food lines. We see uh, the, the tent cities. Like, I mean, hell, I can tell you just how much homelessness has, has skyrocketed around where I live. Um, mm -hmm. And that's anecdotal. But, I mean, that's all we have to work off of right now. I think that um, I think that there's just there's an increasing amount of people who are completely incapable of, of, of meeting even their basic needs. And that's true. Um, yeah. I mean, people living out of their cars. I mean, I was just reading an article yesterday about how there's an already acknowledged uh, phenomena of people living out of their cars right now. There are people, there's somebody in my neighborhood, in my apartment complex. I looked down and they, I could see them living out of their car and it's just yeah. like, what, like mm -hmm. I, they probably used to live here and then they got evicted now they're living in this parking lot of the par apartment they used to live in. It's pretty fucked. I don't know. I but, guess. Yeah, it's hard to say. I think I think that might change our calculus on certain things. That's definitely true. There's only, I can't see the future. So there's yeah. many ways this could potentially go. It has a lot to do with how well and how quickly the market is able to recover from the pandemic. And I, I feel like so far, while we haven't seen, I expect it to be worse than where it is um, like a year ago. But we don't know like where it's going to go yet. Yeah. And I think another big problem to consider is that unemployed and homeless people have very little power when it comes to their effect on workplaces, right? The people that are going to have the biggest effect when it comes to unionizing or striking are obviously going to be people that are on the job working. Um, so I, I don't know how much of effect uh, people that have been laid off or unemployed or fired are going to have on these businesses, right? Didn't the um well, the I Amazon think, I think that's one of the things that's changing, which is that I think that a lot that basically uh people are slowly and surely getting laid off and fired from their traditional jobs and then shifting into gig work, which I mean, whether that is you have a car because you you know you no longer have an apartment, you just live out of your car and you do Uber driving in your car. I mean that's like a thing. That's like a thing that people mm -hmm. are doing now. Um uh, I don't know. I think that increasingly much that, you know, much of the, um, the, I mean, I mean, this happened in the great depression, right? Like, um, they basically, uh, one of the big things that happened during the, the great depression was as, um, as farms and stuff got bought up, um, to, to sort of like get people out of the, 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 like to, 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 to stimulate labor on the West coast and to get people out of their positions in the farms so that they could more easily, um, you know, take over the farms for, you know, but the banks could take over the farms instead of having to deal with people actually living on them. They put out flyers for like temporary and seasonal work that paid really well. And then you got there only to find out that there's 900,000 people all there for the same job. And uh, they just give it to every morning. They give it out to the first 10 people who walk up 
and then everybody else is just homeless and starving. But it's all the same thing. It's gig work. You take it when you get it. And that's what people do now. There's no, like, we don't know who's doing the gig work, right? We don't know. The Uber Eats person could be somebody who's homeless and just trying to get food for the day. And then they just don't work the next, the rest of the week because of whatever reason. You know, it's very hard for us to tell right now because things have changed so quickly. So I don't know. Um, yeah. yeah, careers don't exist anymore, as somebody said in my chat. That's true. Careers just don't. They just, I, I mean... Maybe streaming career, but that's like a very weird one. We are also gig yeah. workers. We're in an incredibly precarious position. We're lucky oh, yeah. that the potential for our income is great and we have avenues and pipes by which we can get direct support. But like uh we're still gig workers. We don't have any we don't have any labor protections. We don't have any fucking no benefits, income protections. Yeah. yeah, nothing. Yeah. Sucks. Yeah, no, like I I you and I want to thank you for this again because and I want to remind everyone that Demon Mama did this because it's very kind mm -hmm. and she didn't have to do this. When like, you know, I'm a fairly large streamer. I average like on a gaming stream, hundred viewers, 600 on a, on a politics stream. And yet when the day before my Lawrence Southern debate, I had 20 bucks to my name, 20 bucks to my PayPal. And D Demon Mama just out of the kindness of her heart, just gave me 50 bucks to buy breakfast for the morning before, like the morning of the Demon Mama debate, not Demon Mama debate, the, uh, <laughs> the yeah, we debated the Lawrence <laughs> Southern debate. Well, now the, you're um, stuck. You're stuck dealing with me, the blood, the blood <laughs> sports queen. And now you only will have to settle for me. Oh no, you won't be able to debate the likes of Destiny anymore because you're not respectable uh -oh. enough. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel oh, like, God. um, uh, yeah, a lot of people overestimate how much streamers make and what a position they're in. Like I'm telling you right now, anyone in chat, if you're a streamer, a YouTuber, whatever, no matter how popular you get. Put money aside, invest it, put it into a savings account. There are different ways you can. I highly recommend looking up some tutorials on YouTube or videos about how you can best save your money to, to have it last because nobody, there is nobody who is going to last forever in the YouTube uh, or streaming like thing, right? Like Ninja was one of the biggest, was the biggest streamer for quite a while. Now he averages like three, four, five, six thousand viewers, which is good when you consider the fact that early 28 or late mm -hmm. 2018 and wait early 2018 he was averaging 300,000 viewers Jesus. Yeah. you know i mean he's he's definitely been smart with his money and he got a shit ton of it out of the mixer shutdown mm -hmm. but still you can go from being unbelievably massive to comparatively minuscule very quickly and this is something that worries me and i've seen youtubers rise and fall and have to go back to being in the uh Wings. the wage cage again yes like i yeah, well, I guess they're they're like probably doing fairly okay, but like when it comes to YouTubers that are they? I, I don't follow. Oh. I don't follow like the no, uh, the low cow scene. Yeah, I guess they both they both. Uh, well, DSP got in into so much debt that there were multiple streams in which he was screaming at his chat to pay him because he was so anxious about his debt. Wings, oh, wow. uh, yeah, that's bad, bad news. Uh, I, I recommend the Down the Rabbit Hole about Rings of Redemption if you want to I, watch I watched that it, it was one. really Very sad. <laughs> yeah, sad. Yeah, it is sad, but it's a good, a good video, though. Mm -hmm. I can respect that Wings was one of the first people to ever shit on Keemstar, though. I can respect that. <laughs> true, though. Yeah, true. Yeah. I also learned from that video that uh, uh, Keemstar used to be part of a trolling group called FAGS. That was the name of his. That was that was the acronym. Yeah. It was like it was Federation of Asshole Gamers. Like yeah, that was the like name that. of it. Yeah, yeah that, like, back okay. in back in like 2009, 2010. So real bad. nice memes. So bad. Um, <laughs> no, for real. Like you do want to make sure you're smart with your money because with YouTube and streaming, uh, your career can be ended in an instant, right? Like yeah. if YouTube decides they don't like you, they can just delete your channel. So they did the Monkey Jones. They gave him three strikes without any warning, and the reason they claimed for it was that he was sympathetic to. A mass shooter who he made multiple videos making fun of. And like videos he, that were monetized on YouTube for years before they got him. Also, yeah. it's totally possible, by the way, that uh, my that this happens to me tomorrow. After all, <laughs> um, I on that very thread, there was a fuckload of people mass reporting my video for hate speech. So, hey, this might be the last Demon Mama stream ever for all you know. We'll find out. Not really. It won't yep. happen, but I, I, mean, I could wake up. I could wake up tomorrow and my channel is gone. It's pretty bad. I was it, really... it sucks. It sucks, but it's true. It's a true thing. Also, one other 16. thing. Um, you're very welcome, but also I'm gonna make you I'm gonna make you promise me something. And this goes to both uh -oh. of you. You understand? You ready? I'm gonna make you do it on air, okay? <laughs> if you if you I will be so mad if you ever <laughs> don't like if you're ever hungry for a meal and you don't tell me okay don't you fucking listen. ever let your ego get in the way of that okay if i can't take care of you two in that moment when you need a, pe a thing to eat then i'll find somebody who can okay promise don't fucking no pride no pride okay i promise i'll do that but i'll say this this is a funny story 
um, uh, uh, Vermin, aka Hyena, and Vosh back when I was living in Florida, and I was <laughs> and I was like saving up money to try to get out. Because so, moving across the country costs money. I had to pay for Lonnie's plane ticket to come down, rent a car, wow. have that car for a week. Um, we ended up having it for, we had to pay for two weeks because we had to move everything out of mm -hmm. our storage unit to our new oh, place, exactly. get an apartment. I needed enough uh, months of proven income to mm -hmm. be able to like get a place. It was really, really complicated. Need to save a bunch of money. And um, uh, Vosh, I told, I told Vermin about my situation because I kept it completely uh, secret for a while. Um, but I ended up telling Vermin, then Vermin told Vosh, and uh, they invited me to a call and, and uh, Vosh offered me like three, four grand, not, not to have to pay back or anything, just to help me out. And I turned it down. I was like, uh, no, I'm, I'm doing all right. I just, you know, I, I just wish that I could, you know, get, get out of here sooner. But Lonnie isn't able to come down. But in reality, yeah, was, in reality, if I had the money, then she would have been able to. Well, but... well, like, well really, no, because it was, it was a matter of making sure we had an apartment all ready to go when yeah. we got here. So okay. it, like even well. more money wouldn't have necessarily solved the problem of trying to get someone to approve you for an apartment when you're on the other side of the country during yeah. a pandemic and people That's are right. like hesitant to even show places. So I, yeah, I will no. say though, no, none of that fucking breaking bad shit. None of that. Oh, I don't, I don't, <laughs> want, any, I don't want any. I money. have Walter White syndrome any, pretty hard. Oh, come on. No, don't. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. You're supposed to learn from that movie. You're not supposed <laughs> to know. copy breaking it. Breaking <laughs> Bad was unironically a, a narrative about the toxic masculinity. It really it was. But don't but you still dare. There, I, mean. I will be, I will chew you out so bad. I will make you, I will make you cringe. Okay. That goes for you, you too. Lonnie. Don't you dare think I know you. I know you're good. Lonnie would Same do. It. I have Lonnie. You, okay? I tell I this. To, I tell this to all of my friends. Okay. I never. I. I <laughs> only sleep easy at night knowing that the people I care about are hungry. Okay. That's the, that's the one line yeah. I have. Please. So. Well, thank. Thankfully, I um. Uh, uh th like I guess the the main thing. It's so it's so weird. Like the the state that I'm in currently with my my streaming and YouTube stuff, where I'm at a point where I can do this as a job and I make enough money to pay all my bills and everything, but it's like just over enough, you know, you know, I've seen a Deadpool where, um, the first Deadpool, have you seen that movie? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Sorry, well, I'm sorry. I, I, I missed the Deadpool mm -hmm. movies where the, like, I was like not in the movie going mood. So I missed mm -hmm. like that whole era of films. They're pretty good. Um, but there's a scene where they try to activate, uh, his mutant powers by sticking them in a, a chamber that sucks out, all the oxygen to the point where you won't okay. die, but you'll be choking. Okay. And then they, but right before he suffocates, they would add more oxygen back just enough so that he could stay alive. And it feels like that where it's mm -hmm. like, okay, I make a few thousand dollars a month. My rent's like 1650. And then there's like everything else on top of it. So after paying bills, I come out with like $200 left over. Right. Yes, and then yes. that I, I ride on that $200 mm -hmm. until my YouTube check comes in for like another 2000. Then I can pay my bills again. But I'm like constantly like, Mm -hmm. depending on income like floating on like the same 200 Southern or 300 California constant is place to live. it is yeah but but to be fair this place is very very nice mm -hmm. yeah you know two it's bedroom nice two bath nice very nice area that is nice. it is worth the amount of money that i have to pay and i think it's just a matter of like growing my channel right now i'm like in this limbo where i i guess it's because i keep running into controversy where i lose like 100 subs then i <laughs> slowly gain it again but then i lose another hundred so i've been stuck in the 62 what 62,300 yeah, 400 zone for like months still now good, it's still fucking like amazing though. Still really good. yeah down. i don't know it, it is, is yeah. i don't know you, you're you're getting into some new cool fresh content so people come in you know just keep yeah. just keep mm -hmm. keep grinding and, and keep thinking on your feet and yeah be i've been prep i've been prepping for hightail to come out i don't want to just be the uh the political uh, like a political streamer i want to do gaming too like yeah. regularly and when Hytale comes out, oh yeah, that 24-hour non-stop Hytale stream is going to be the <laughs> shit. That is going to be fun. And I'll probably pop by. Um, so mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, damn. Well, um, <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, thank you both so much for coming on. I know I have a... a oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Hold on a second. Uh-oh. No, oh, no, nothing. no, nothing. Hey, Demon Mama and chat. I don't know if you saw it, but I made an inexcusable and insensitive comment about the 4chan situation under Destiny's tweet. I deleted it and apologized for it right away, but was told by a mod and community members that doing so was insufficient and you should apologize to the community directly. So here I am saying sorry, not asking for forgiveness, just trying to take the first step in seeking it. Hey, no, nothing. All right. Uh, I appreciate that a lot. I roasted you pretty hard, so let's call it even. All right. Uh, don't don't watch that if you don't want your feelings hurt because I was pretty mean. All right. <laughs> 
All right. That was, that was um, nice of them. He didn't have to, or they, mm -hmm. I'm going to go with they, because I don't know nothing's pronounced with that. But they, they didn't have to do that, and they, they did it anyway. So I, I, yeah, I can respect I, that. I appreciate that. Although I will say, you don't know what we had to fucking deal with today. So, yeah, you did make a mm -hmm. stupid statement. I, I'll say it was a fucking stupid thing of you to say, but all right, we're good. All right? Yeah. We're good. Um, do, do, watch, Is there anything do, Don't Don't fire right. so quickly in the future. There you go. Nothing anyway. in particular, I don't think. Yeah. Congratulations. I'm excited. Uh, thank you. To talk to your thank channel, you. Bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, are y'all going to stay watching for a bit longer? Are y'all yeah. off to do stuff? Yeah, I'll be watching. Yeah, okay. we're, we'll keep it on the TV. I'm mm -hmm. probably going to lay down in bed. I'm not going to go to sleep. I'm going to lay down in bed. Lonnie's probably got like some stuff to ship or something yeah, like that. I gotta get, yeah, I got to get. We're going to go to the post office tomorrow. I'm going to oh, ship yeah. the thing. I'm going to ship her. And then I got a bunch oh, of yeah. packages. Well, you ordered something from Lonnie, no, right? No, I, I just made her something that I'm going to send oh, her. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, it's like donation. Yeah, yeah. yeah I decided to send her stuff. Thank you so I much. Seen it I'm so fucking excited. You have no idea. I get so hyped <laughs> for stuff coming in the mail. It's like, <laughs> oh my god, like the it could be always oh, anything. It's so exciting. When I order mm -hmm. my new my graphics card, when I could afford to get a, a thirty ninety. You better believe and be sitting at the door every day around mail time, yeah. like, <laughs> like a dog. Even if I track mm -hmm. the. Uh, the uh, uh, track the order and know it's not coming that day. I'm still, but what if, what if the tracking isn't right? You know, <laughs> Xander Hall, are you going, are you setting off my, Xander Hall, you are setting off my dormant nicotine addiction, bro. I'll do that. <laughs> uh, nah, Ravus, I'm not going to go over that thread because um, that person is a literal clown, like an actual clown. Um, mm -hmm. They're not, they're, they're actually very annoying and I don't like them. So um, yeah. Sorry, um, Cyborg Jin. I'll, I'll get off the screen so you can... <laughs> Listen, nicotine pack, patches could work if you're not already fully off of it. If you're already off of it, you just should be yeah. thinking about it. <laughs> slow, and, yeah. slow and sure, slow and sure. All right. My mom managed to quit cigarettes while I was while I've been gone. So. Yeah, she still hasn't been smoking. No, she she quit. Yeah, she has been acting pretty fucking crazy. <laughs> I gotta, she's supposed to come visit us soon, right? Oh god, yeah, yeah, that will be interesting. I hope she brings my dog. I want to see. I want to see uh, Emmy. My dog oh. Ginger died while I've been away, and it was pretty difficult for me. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, Laura, that would be cool. Yeah, I yeah, had her yeah since you I should was definitely chit chat with Alora. That would be really super cool. Yeah, um, Alora is, uh, in my opinion, a genius. So, um, quite literal, like like Jesus Christ, holy God, I don't know what I, my TikTok would be nothing without. Oh, uh, my Jessica Von Rabbit told me to say thank you for showing her uh, music video. Oh uh, she, yeah, I sent her. Excited. Yeah, it was great to watch. I, I appreciate being able to watch it. Although I will say, um, I did tech technically I did get a copyright strike for that. Uh, not a strike, not a strike, a copyright claim. Yeah, yeah which was really funny, weird. I'll but I think it's automated. I think it happens all the time. Reason, it must have been automated. Yeah, the reason the for it isn't. is because YouTube they recognize um and no matter what video you watch copyrighted or not, they they can recognize visual and audio and get you for it unless the creator of the video has does, goes through very specific steps to make sure that YouTube doesn't do that. Huh. That's what um Yeah, I'll have to ask her about it cuz she doesn't yeah. yeah, she doesn't want anything it's, to be claimed. It's a pain in the ass to deal with that. It's um basically what happens is that um uh, so there's a YouTuber that I have. If you ever need music for your stream, I don't know if you use it already. Stream Beats. Mm -hmm. um, oh, okay. So a YouTuber named Harris Heller who does very good, by the way. If you want anything from technical to just general content managing advice for growing on Twitch and YouTube, Alpha Gaming is the name of the channel. But he Alpha goes by Gaming. Harris Heller. Oh wait, I know on, that channel. I know that channel. Yeah. I probably recommended it because yeah, I wouldn't be did, where yeah. I am now without it. Um, but he did a, uh, cause he's, he's we're right now working to lobby with like, he's working with larger YouTubers and stuff to try to advocate for Spotify to implement a, uh, music license. Basically, you know why? Like, so radio stations are allowed to play music and monetize that because they get licenses for the music. And there's no reason that content creators shouldn't be able to do the same. So the idea is he is trying to lobby with larger YouTubers to get Spotify to add a music broadcasting license to your subscription, where you can pay a certain amount of money per month so and it's attach your Spotify to your Twitch or YouTube. And that way you will never get claimed or copyrighted or striked for playing copyrighted music from your Spotify oh because you got a license um, subscription. And that's what he's trying to advocate for. But in the meantime, he made a original playlist, a very good one, um, of different genres, the most popular one is the lo-fi one of copyright-free, completely wow. safe to play on stream. Mm -hmm. It's called Stream Beats. Highly recommend it. The music's good. You won't get uh, claimed. It's very, very cool. That is super pog. I mean, I get hit all the time for just mm -hmm. even just for just commentating on stuff that happens to have a tune in it. It's so fucking annoying. Yeah. But thank you. That's actually a really good thing to know. I don't use music much um, it, that I don't like. I don't know. That's not in the thing that I'm watching or whatever. But that would be very good because I probably will in the future. 
So thank you. Oh yeah. You like listening to music like in the background while I you're do. gaming or whatever. Yeah, I, I really stream. do. Yeah, oh, totally and if you're cool. ever uh, if you're ever short for games to play on stream and you want to play console games without having to do all that bullshit, I recommend PS Now. I've been using it to play through the Infamous series, one of my favorite game series. Um, it, I it can actually be a heard bit... about that. People told me you were playing that. Something funny happened the other day, and they were like, oh, did you see what happened when Zan was playing Infamous? I was like, Zan was playing Infamous? Sorry, I was sleeping. <laughs> yeah, Infamous is one of my favorite game series, but they have the whole series except for the First Light DLC on, uh, yeah, Alden, because Alden's a character in Infamous and Alden's number. <laughs> um, yeah, so basically, highly recommend uh, the... Um, Highly recommend the PS Now if you want to play console games going back to PS3 on stream. It's pretty oh, yeah, useful. Yeah, that's a really good idea. I should. I, I mean, I think I, I have PS Plus, but I don't think I have PS Now. But I will definitely think about that because I, I, I I've been thinking about doing um, a Bloodborne at some point on stream. You could do it on that. It, it's there's like I thought there would be more input lag because what ps now does is a streaming service like runs the game off of their servers to your computer and okay. then they take your input there is almost non-existent input lag if you have decent internet even when i'm streaming wow. um the quality can get like a little iffy like but it's like we're, when we're talking about console games at the end of the day like the bar isn't all that high anyway so yeah it's almost unnoticeable it's like uh it's surprisingly better than the type of like J jitteriness you would get like to the stream it'll be unnoticeable it's similar to the jitteriness you get when you watch gameplay on like youtube oh, with okay. the compression yeah with that it's weird insane. compression algorithm that is the yeah, weirdest shit that. yeah well, i guess yeah, yeah. Twitch has it better yeah. yeah yeah twitch does have a better algorithm for video for gameplay but i don't know youtube is oh, i like youtube it does a lot of good things for me i hate not being able to i don't know i I hate the the VOD system on Twitch. It's so yeah, that's fucking annoying. annoying. That's um, the big down downfall to it. I hope that YouTube overhauls their streaming system so that me like too. oh my god, it's so there, messy. There are so many good changes they could make. The events, events just randomly for no reason out of your control. Like if your stream ends, you have to make a whole new event, or um, even if it's a normal stream, and yeah. then sometimes that doesn't happen. Sometimes you'll end your stream on Streamlabs and then have to go and manually end your stream. But then if it ends automatically because your internet cut out or something or there was an error with Streamlabs, then it automatically fully ends the stream and you have to make a whole new thing and you lose a shit ton of your viewers as they slowly trickle. It's so, it's so annoying. So fucking really annoying. Yeah, and yeah. also there's like, there's a couple, there's a lot of things about like the YouTube streaming interface that just scream like sh slap shod. Like it was just like, it was just like slapped together. But yeah. Well, it screams. We're about that all night, but. It screams, we want people to click off of your stream and watch other content, because guess what? You know what you don't have on Twitch? When you watch a Twitch stream, uh, and the website helps amend this, but when you're watching a Twitch stream, there's very little on the screen to distract you from the stream that you're watching, because Twitch wants you to watch the same streamer for long periods of time, because then you're more likely to donate to them and they make money off of don donations. Right. So with YouTube, they want you to go watch as many videos as possible to see as many ads as possible. So when someone, you're watching a YouTube stream, you have these shiny, bright thumbnails and titles all along the side of the screen, tempting you to click off the stream when there's a down moment to watch something else. So you, there's very bad viewer retention on so YouTube. So the streams. secret, the secret, the secret for me is that I need to get the, I need to make multiple channels, all that just. <laughs> Uh, re that have like a one second video with a link that goes back to my stream and have really good thumbnails. So every recommended tab will just be back to the stream again. It'll be a pipe. It'll be like, you know, the eternal cycle. They'll well, be stuck. The real advice is aggressively push your website to every single person. If somebody's a oh, YouTube you know, chat. You they're... know it. You know I yeah. push that shit like crazy. Aggressively push that shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Well, both of you, thank you so much. Thank you so, so much for coming on. Um, we got a little more content to go, so I'm going to be going for a little bit longer. So you be I'll to... be watching. Yeah, we'll be there. I'm looking forward to seeing you chat. All right. Well, hey, thank you so much, both of you, for coming on. Uh, much, much love to both of you. And, uh, bye, chat. Uh, bye for now. We'll, we'll talk soon. Mm -hmm. Bye for now. Bye, everybody. Have a good one. Have a good night. Bye. Yay! Yay! That was so good! Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god, Lonnie. So f wow, Lonnie. Was, look at her outfit. was fucking killer. Holy shit. That outfit was fucking banging. What is... Lonnie's nails are out of this world. What the fuck? I was like pogging out. I was pogging out.